I'm Tim Mullen, a president of T.S. Mullen Farms here in uh, Tilbury in Essex County. I, um, I'm the third generation and uh, we have a fourth generation coming uh, on board right now. I'm not that old, but old enough to, to be involved with a lot of the changes in uh, farming practices, as well as farming equipment evolvement. I had the privilege to actually pull the first RTS ever made. You know, I hooked onto it, not really understanding anything about it. And I pulled it, and the job it was doing, like it, it cracking the ground and stuff like that, I didn't really see the value in it when I first pulled it. I, I can remember I bought, I, bought, uh, I bought my first RTS. I pulled it out in the field just up the road here, and, I, I went down the field and I got out and I took a look. I got in the tractor, I circled around, and I went crossways directly where I just went. Then I got out and I looked at the double pass and I said, oh, that's why I bought this base requirement. This is just excellent. In this part of the country with heavy clay, you have to have some tillage on the top because the ground sometimes will get sealed off completely and the water will not percolate down through it. So uh, an RTS run at a, at the way it's supposed to be run actually with its independent coil coil shanks will, will actually shatter the ground inches below your actually worked area. And then that allows for good, good air penetration as well as future moisture penetration to get in the ground. Uh, the RTS works excellent on, on chopping up residue, mixing a little bit of black dirt so the fodder can, can, can be exposed, exposed to the dirt and rot down quicker. You can use it and, and it eliminates a lot of other processes or other passes with a one pass piece of equipment. And, that, and that's everything today in in agriculture, eliminate passes over a field, eliminate uh, breaking down organic matter. You want to keep it intact. Um, burning up the structure of the soil is not where it's at. Running around the field dozens of times, it's having the wind blow dust, dust all over the place. That's lost topsoil. You want to minimize your passes as much as possible. And by using these various equipment, pieces of equipment, that Salford has. It, it's made the farming operation better. It's made the environment better. It's made my soil better for the future generations. And, um, and that's what it's all about. We're, we're here for a time. We don't know how long, but we want to leave something for the next generation. That's what it's all about the future generation of farmers.